as the morning continues. But I want to get to some college football here because we had that man, Nick Saban, on this show yesterday from SEC Media Days. And his answer that reverberated the most came when we asked him a question about conference realignment. Here's what he said. The mega conference, you know, will create, you know, a little more of a caste system maybe in college football. And I think everybody's got to decide if that's the direction we really want to go or not. Obviously, at Alabama, we're one of the haves. Uh, it's probably a good thing. Uh, for some of the have-nots, you know, maybe it won't work out as well. Look who is here. David Pollock is ready to go. That means college football is right around the corner. And so, David, you hear from Nick Saban there, using words like mega conference, cast system, haves and have-nots. What is your reaction to the things he said? Well, I think it's always cool when coaches talk about the have-nots when they are the haves. They actually do care about the sport. I think that's pretty cool. But, listen, the, the, the sport has changed. The, the rivalries, they're gone. Um, it's not about rivalries. It's not about geography. We've seen that, the shift that's, that's occurred now. It's about securing your future. How do you look out the, for the best interest of your company, your team? Like, that's what that, this is business now, and I think you've seen that shift. Look at, I mean, how crazy is going to be watch Ohio State play USC? And USC comes to Ohio State in November, and it's three inches of snow on the ground, freezing their butt off. And then all of a sudden, the next week, Ohio State might go to UCLA and play in 77-degree weather. I mean, just it's not about the geography. It's not about the history. It's about how do I secure my financial future. And that's what teams are doing. They're looking at lists like big business and looking out for the best interest of their programs. Right. Like once upon a time, that was the Rose Bowl. and But that was then. And, and David, I think what you're saying is that this is now. And look, you're a person who played this game at the highest level. You, you have dedicated your life at this point professionally speaking to covering the game do you believe these changes that feel inevitable right now in the end are a net positive or a net negative for the sport and for the fans well, I, I, I like it. I, I think we all like the way it is usually, but here's the thing. It doesn't matter because you've seen things change and you've seen NIL come in and people go, I'm not going to watch this if these kids get paid. You're still watching. Like, the fan bases run deep. The fandom runs deep. The, the cheering for college football is not going to stop. You see it's still one of the most popular sports in all of college football. So it's not going to matter. It's not going to change the game. It's going to look different. It's going to make people sometimes feel uncomfortable and understand, why are we doing this crap? Why is everybody flying all over the place? To, to play football games when you could play teams in your backyard. You could keep the history of the game together, but it, it doesn't matter. The sport will go on, and if we get to three super conferences, you're going to have a lot of people that are left out. I mean, think about that. The sport's going to go on for those teams that are in a great situation that, that bring value, but the teams that don't bring value, shoot. I mean, all the history they've built up and the things they've done, that just kind of goes by the wayside as well. And again, some people will care and some people won't. Yeah, that's something to keep a close eye on. While we Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.